we are celebrating Imolk. I'm going to spend the first part of the video uh, talking to you about Imolk, um, but I will put the deck times in the video comments in case you want to just skip forward and watch that. I know a lot of you said that you wanted to learn a little bit more about the ceremony and celebrating Imolk and what we can do to sow the seeds of our new life. Um, so first and foremost, I want to just talk about that. Um, well protection animal protection t-shirt i've got this week um bargain 15 quid save the animals uh, ma a massive cause that is massive to my heart it is so big to me about trying to protect the animals on this planet you know i posted something on the instagram the other day if you're not on my instagram go and find me um it's mystic love tarot i also have a personal one if you want to follow me on there um obviously it's just kind of my life but if you want to follow me on that feel free to send me an ad um but yeah on the mystic love tarot one i posted something about when humans destroy something that's made by humans we call it vandalism but then when we destroy something that is made by nature and the earth we call it progress and it really really kind of went into my soul and um, there's also one of my favorite mu musicians uh david bard he does a lot of pagan music and he did a green album with other collaborators and on that green album he does this beautiful song about how can we believe that we own it all like this whole planet that we have and we think as humans that we own it so world animal protection a massive cause that is close to my heart and um, please go and check out their website and if you feel like giving money to them um it would really mean a lot to me um you know i do a lot for charity and this this charity is the one that is really closest to my heart and wwf the world wildlife fund as well not the wrestling okay so i'm going to spend the first little bit of this talking about imolk okay so imolk is the pagan festival of the year of the celebration of spring so what this means for um for everyone the the more spiritual people the mystics um is that this is a time of spring so this is a time of new life and new birth this is when we start to see the very first snowdrops coming up on the earth and when these snowdrops come up it reminds us that all this kind of heaviness this darkness these the fact that all the plants and things have passed and died around us and all the leaves have been shed that this is now a time for rebirth and regrowth and this is really really important not only to the nature of the planet but to you guys as well because what you are doing in imolk is you are sowing the seeds for your new life great time to manifest now i'm doing it a bit a bit early because imolk is on first of february this year Okay, now Bridie, Brigantia, Bridget, uh, the goddess of uh, this time of year, this is her cross. She's also a, a saint, Saint Bridget as well, for those of you that are more Christian. You can make your own Bridget's cross for her to symbolise her, like this one I made here. I did it quite rushed this morning, so it's not my best work of art, but I thought, oh, I'm going to make you guys one so you can see it. Uh, you can go on YouTube and you can have a Google. These are really, really good to put in thresholds of your house. So when uh, Bridget Brigantia, when she was born, she was born on a threshold. Uh, the threshold between the other world and the threshold of our world. So when you ha make Bridget's cross, um, it's really quite a good thing to put it at the front of your house or, um, you know, I have one in this room because when I come from my normal life into my spiritual life, I have Bridget's cross hanging for me. I also have a little uh, ceramic one as well from Wynne Abbott Ceramics. She's like one of my favourite artists. Um, so she made me a little ceramic one as well so putting them at the threshold in between the doors of between this world and the next world is really good also for your home she puts protection around it she is also talking about animals again uh, the protector of animals of all livestock of your pets of the sheep obviously this time of year the new lambs are being born so uh bridey brigantia goddess of many names um goddess of fire and a goddess of healing she looks after the animals so she does healing she does livestock and looking after your animals she's also a goddess of fire a goddess of sacred wells as well so she's a very interesting goddess that she works with the fire elements and the water elements she does both of them 
Uh, so, on the 1st of February, I don't know where you are in the world, if you're in England, it might be worth having a look if you have any sacred wells around you. I have one which is uh, 2.4 miles down the road and I have to walk through this massive reservoir to get to, where, uh, get to it, but it's around the corner from where I live, so it's a perfect place for me to go on Imolk and place one of her crosses. This is just made of straw. You're meant to make it with reeds, but I didn't have the time to go to the to the river banks to pick up the reeds. Um, so you can make them out of straw. You can have a Google on how to do it on YouTube. There are loads of videos on instructions on how to make your bridges cross. Um, so you can take this down uh, to either a well or um, again, putting it in the threshold of your house. With that as well, with her being the goddess of fire, one of the goddesses of fire, the sacred flame. It was um she works with the number nine very well, so lighting nine candles for her is also really, really beneficial. Now I know that's a lot of information, so I'm going to just teach, uh, talk to you about a few little smaller tricks that you can do if you don't have time to make crosses and you don't have time to visit wells. I just want to talk to you a little bit about the other things you can do. So Imolk. Uh, this year, February 1st, really great day to do all of your laundry, getting a fresh start coming in, um, having a bath with nine floating candles in it, also really good, drinking milk with honey and nutmeg. Now, uh, Bridie, her animal that walks around with her is a cow. I know, so beautiful. Walks around with this cow to represent the livestock. Um, so drinking the milk with honey and uh, and nutmeg is a really good way to kind of bring Brigantia into your life. Um, drinking the fresh, if you can get fresh bottled spring water, you can drink that all day because again, she's goddess of the springs. Um, if you don't like drinking milk and nutmeg and honey, you could perhaps make a milkshake or something along those lines. Any dancing or movement meditations, they are really good for celebrating Imolk. Um, also a really good time to kind of lighten the mood up a little bit. I've written a list of the things that I do over here. Um, playing with a toy is really good because it brings that lighter side, that playful side of her forward. Uh, she is a triple god and she is mother maiden and crone, um, but this is her very strong maiden energy coming forward, the maiden, maiden energy of Bridie coming forward. Um, also a really good time, again, for sowing these seeds of the new life to kind of apologise to someone that you perhaps you might have heard in the past. Now, with actual ceremony and how to go about this, um, again, it's a really good time to bring manifestations into your reality. Would, uh, if you wanted to do something basic, would advise you lighting your nine candles, uh, making your bridges cross, um, writing what it is that you want to bring into your manifestation and let the candles burn, calling her into your energy, and also being appreciative of everything that you have already in your life. Okay, two more things, no, one more thing that you can do uh, the night before in milk, so 31st of January, if you want to get a cloth and pop it outside in the garden, okay, you're going to have an early rise on this, but if you want to do that, pop it into the garden, let the dew drops collect on it and bring it in before sunrise, and this is a healing cloth that can be used throughout the year. Okay, and if you're feeling a bit under the weather or feeling a bit sad or you need to cleanse energies, uh, it's meant to be the healing cloth of bride as she comes to visit you at that night time. Okay, especially if you have your cross out the side, out the front, she will come and visit into your home. You're welcoming her into your home with the cross um, and she will bless the cloth that you leave outside. So there's a lot of information in that eight minutes that I've done for you on Imolk. What I'm going to do now is actually do your reading. Um, but I hope you guys really, really enjoyed that. If it is something that you enjoy, I will do it for the other ceremonies throughout the year for you. Um, just to give you some tips and tricks on how to in really enjoy these festivals that go on. Start of spring, spring super important for sowing the seeds of your new life. Okay guys, on to the reading. Okay guys, on to the reading. So today we are doing what other person you're thinking about feelings for you. Deck number one and deck number two, uh, both Dame Darcy decks. This is the Alice in Wonderland 
tarot and this is the mermaid tarot both by dame darcy love the artwork okay so think about you think about your person for me and let's get into that strong energy of yours so feel that energy pushing into the deck as always it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all regardless of your circumstances going into all your energy all your people's energy and pulling out the strong energy deck number one so let's do this can you get into the collective's energy of deck number one deck number one and 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 think about your person for me can we get into the collective energy of their people of deck number one and all possibilities probabilities choices chances and changes so i've got a really old song well it feels to be quite old song coming through my right ear i actually remember it um i definitely definitely went for a break up in my 20s and listened to it um tattoo by jordan sparks you're on my heart just like a tattoo so can you tell me please uh what is the collective energy of their person's feelings towards them what are they feeling so yeah, we've got this kind of Jordan Sparks, you're on my heart, just like a tattoo. No matter what they say about love, I keep coming back for more. I'm sure those were the first lyrics um, and that you're on their heart, just like a tattoo. Go have a listen. What are their feelings about those watching? I'm just going to get eight. Eight feels right today. Six. Seven. And one more, eight. Okay, so let's start off with the number fives, five and five. So five in tarot is probably not the best of numbers. So these are all always kind of about conflicts, arguments, heaviness, sadness, burdens, betrayal, loss. Now with the five of pentacles, five of wands over here, this is suggesting that your person's feelings for you at the moment are a little bit conflicted, okay? They do have very strong emotions for you over here. They have this very strong heart-centered energy. They do love you, but they are in turmoil, spirit is saying. The head is really, really playing tricks on them. It feels as if a lot of them are kind of suffering from anxiety at the moment with regard to the situation. If you're not in contact, they are wanting to communicate with you. They are wanting to reach out, kind of end this torment that they're feeling. They haven't handled this in a good way. Um, they're feeling very, very sad over the situation and they know that they have upset you. Perhaps some harsh words have been exchanged or it just hasn't quite gone the way you want to it to all this sense of security that you were trying to build up around you guys feels like it has fallen apart a little bit but do know that your person's emotions are still very real and they do still deeply care for you they've been feeling a little bit overwhelmed by the situation spirit is saying as well perhaps you they felt that you were kind of trying to throw emotions on them trying to force them into a position uh, to tell to get them to tell you how they feel and um, rather than believing them when they tell you that they have these emotions for you because they really do your person does absolutely love you really really loves you um sometimes they can be quite jovial spirit is saying and quite playful and through that that sense of energy over that you wonder is this something that is real is this something that is just sex is this something that they want from me and it can cause these kind of eruptions these towers this conflict this heaviness this sadness on your guy's heart now you and your person are mirroring in this sense that they are feeling a sadness and heaviness as well okay they are feeling that they effed up that they've lost you or you know really upset you and they they have a kind of guilt that is arising from that feeling very sad about that you guys are mirroring your energies over here so you and them you can see the mirror reflection of your energies likely to be a more divine connection with you guys you both are feeling very sad over this very sad over this it hasn't been easy um i'm really being drawn to the 10th of june as a month, I don't know, uh, uh, well, not as a month, as a, as a time that something's going to be important, it's going to happen, or if it's someone's birthday. 10th of June really is quickly coming into my energy there, so direct message for one of you with that date correlating in there. Um, 
they've gone on a little bit of a whim and a prayer with this they haven't really known what to do about this so they've like just gone with the flow of it waited to see what happens and with this kind of conflicting energy around them um, it's made the situation difficult with you they have these emotions for you but this logical side of things tends to kick in and they don't know how to handle it so they withdraw or back away and it makes this situation really complicated for you but do know that your person does love you and Spirit just said with that, um, you are their cup of tea, as they say in England, which means you are the one that... In England, we love our cups of tea, right? So when you say someone is your cup of tea, it means that this is someone that you really, really like, okay? Um, so you are their cup of tea. This is something that they want from you. Now, where the situation has been sticky before, uh, we have the hangman in reverse. This situation is going to uh, change and it's going to be stepping forward, okay? So where it's been a little bit... Oh my God, I don't know what's going forward. Your person is getting the clarity and the insight that they need to progress this forward. That clarity and insight is coming straight from their emotions. So where they're being kind of disinterested or not thinking about it or avoiding it, um, it's going to come towards them and they're going to take away the stagnant energy that is around you and make this movement towards you. And that's what I'm saying for those of you that aren't in contact, don't freak out because there is direct movement happening here. You have your movement over here, you have your victory, you have your success, okay? It's just that they've been a bit of an idiot, really. They haven't seen things from your perspective, Spirit is saying. They've seen it very much from their perspective and what they want, um, and they haven't really thought about it from your point of view. And all that's happening, really, in deck number one is a miscommunication of your energies. So they've miscommunicated, they haven't told you how they're feeling, um, but that miscommunication is starting to fall down now, starting to fall at the wayside, um, and there is going to be open and honest communication with you guys. So where it has been sticky and stagnant, that is now going to be coming to a close, and there is a coming together from this as well, okay? So they are unsticking themselves and coming towards you. They have been feeling quite burdened by everything. They've been feeling, um, really has been, like I said at the start, that it's been giving them anxiety. They've been watching what you're up to. They've been seeing is uh, what's happening in your own world. What are you doing? What's going on? And it has been giving them that anxiety, um, has been keeping them awake at night as well spirit is saying it's been kind of playing a lot of tricks on them you've been coming into um into their dreams and infiltrating their dreams spirit are saying as well so they know that they have these emotions for you you they know that they are real um and they know that they're gonna kind of come towards you make some offer of peace and you are both going to be laying your weapons down which is going to be leading to your success uh, with this empress energy over here as well this is your you guys um potentially with this this can be physical children but again it can also be in giving birth to dreams and at the start i was talking about imolk and spring and how this is a time for bringing in the new and this is very much coming into your energy with you and your person come first of february there are massive shifts and changes in this energy as that stickiness becomes unstuck and that movement can progress forward towards you so where it's sticky at the moment it is shifting with regard to their emotions and what they're actually feeling there is a, a wide diverse range of emotions spirit are saying so we have this kind of i can't move away from you going back to that tattoo start song right at the start we have a sense of guilt we have a sense of anxiety we have a sense of worry and concern we have a sense of feeling like they might have lost you, that they've said something that they shouldn't have. Um, and there's a sense of panic that comes from that as well. There is a very strong love here. Um, a love that they have kind of, you might feel that they've thrown it on the wayside or they haven't dealt with it in the right way. But those emotions are very, very real for you. They've just handled it in a pretty crappy way. Um, and from those pretty crappy way of handling it, that's where all those kind of lower vibration um emotions are coming up towards the surface remember anywhere that we focus our emotions emotion stands for energy in motion it's a really good way of thinking about it so if you are in this heavy sad you know worry guilty energy that your person is wherever energy goes uh, wherever emotion goes is where energy flows so if they are thinking about these negative emotions it is going to be impacting them more than just the odd thought it starts to spiral so they'll start off with a negative uh thought like oh i feel really bad about what happened and it's going to magnify and magnify and magnify until they come to kind of breaking point and through breaking point this is when the sticky energy reverses and comes towards you uh for that 
marking of the end of the cycle. They need to kind of go through this at the moment to realize um, how much they do love you, how much they do want to be with you. Um, and there is a very strong energy alignment between you guys. Your energies do match with one another. It's not an easy relationship, but you do have a very good frequency between you all you know you and your person you do work well you do have a lot of love for each other um where it is at the moment with this five of pentacles and this five of wands this conflict and this feeling sad and lonely and heavy um it is going to shift we have this hanged man he is shifting and it's going to be coming back towards you as you go into the next chapter with your person um and again imalk coming forward so if you want to go watch the start of the video where i talk about my blessed bridget um if you want to go and watch the start of the video, there's loads of little things that you can do there to, to really celebrate that time of year of bringing this new reality into your world. Okay, so if you want to watch that, I uh, would recommend some of the little things that you can do on there. Coming together, a very strong coming together. Um, major, major shifts. And I know a lot of the world are kind of struggling at the moment as well uh, with everything that's happening universally. I know England, my country is really, we've, we've been hit really, really hard at the moment. Um, and my healing energy is going out to everyone that is struggling with it all. Um, but with this again, with that kind of universal energy coming forward, there is this kind of need for us all to kind of stand together. And it's the same with you and your person, where it's all a bit difficult and they might be feeling lonely and sad and really bothered by everything that is happening. They are gonna need your help and they're gonna need your support and they're gonna need your stability that you can give them. And from that, that love will just, this relationship will just con continue to blossom as you give birth to new dreams. If you're wanting to have a baby, um, that is coming up as well. Please don't worry about your age for all you older ladies that are panicking about it um please try not to get your head involved in that i know how difficult it is um, but please try not to worry about that because children is coming into your energy with you guys and you have success as well um if your person already has kids this is, can be the energy of them as well um it doesn't feel that they feel trapped it does feel that they will make this shifting towards you and it is happening kind of in the immediate future all right, guys, that is deck number one. Uh, turnaround time is down on video readings because I am com we're on complete lockdown. So if you need me, just give me a shout. Um, I will speak to you all soon. I'm sending tons of goddess blessings your way. Have an absolutely amazing imulk and I will speak to you soon. Lots of love. Okay, guys, so deck number two, what we are doing today is what are their feelings for you? What are their deepest emotions? What is going on? So can you think about your person for me as we go into their energy? Uh, my turnaround time is down at the moment. For those of you that want a private reading, England is um, not in a good place, but I am at home all the time reading. So if you do need me, give me a shout, drop me a message. Um, all the details are on the website, but you can just email me, mrlovetarot at gmail.com. Um, your person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, thought processes, and 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 or possibilities probabilities choices chances and changes oh, okay so we have got a song from a musical i don't know how many of you out there are musical fans uh, but this is from phantom of the opera and i cannot remember what the song is called but it is the point that when they are standing on the top of the opera house and they're expressing their love for one another that is the song that is coming forward um, also with that, we've also got the song, um, which was a little bit raunchy in that, um, in that musical where it says past the point of no return and it's about sex, really. Um, but it's really good. It's a good song. So that's coming forward as well with your person. So you guys, deck number two, you're reaching the musicals. Now, if you missed the start of the video and you want to go back and watch it, I talk about Imolk, um, the 1st of February, how this is a time for the changes, planting the seeds of new growth into your life um, and a few techniques and tricks you can use um, to bring into your new world, into your reality. So do go back and watch it if you haven't. And make your St. Bridges cross. Okay, what is their feelings? What are their feelings for the people watching? What are their feelings? Oosh, that was a hand slip. What are their feelings for the people that are watching? The collective energy on the feelings. Here we go. So I'm going to get eight for you. Um, I did eight with deck number one. Eight is the magic number today. Two. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I'm gonna get, we'll have this one as well because it jumped out at the top. So what we have going on with your person, these tower moments have hit all around. Now we speak a lot about big tea towers or little tea towers. This is when something kind of goes a little bit wrong or rather wrong in the connection and everything kind of falls apart for it to be rewritten. So you guys have probably had quite a few tower moments recently. Again, either big teas, little teas, these towers have been kind of going on all around you. Now the reason for that on a spiritual level is because this has been a lot of karmic energy being brought up to to clear and again really bringing Imolk into this as well first of February the chance of new new life new birth so these towers have kind of happened if you have had karma with your person to clear that karma now it's really important to note spirit are adding it's really important to note they're saying that um when it comes to karmic energy, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are just lumped in the bracket of a karmic person. You can be a twin flame with your person and still have karma because you would have lived multiple lifetimes with them. And then we, in the past life readings that we do, um, we being me and my guides always say we, the past life readings that we do um, helps to clear that energy around you guys, okay? But there looks to be an overall clearing of this karmic energy. And this is why these towers have been hitting. Now, on an energetic level and on a very earthly level, kind of mixed with a little bit of spirituality, these towers have been hitting for your person to realise what they have with you. They've took it for granted on occasions, they haven't been their best self around you, um, you've been getting very, very fed up. You've been getting fed up with them now this was in reverse so where you have been feeling fed up and annoyed and irritated that energy is flipping okay so these towers are causing this energy to flip this feeling of being fed up feeling that they're taking you for granted feeling that you don't actually know if they care about you or if they love you these towers are having to hit for them to realize the depth of their emotions now going back to those two songs at the start we have the king of cups and the king of wands over here so the two songs from Phantom of the Opera, the one about love and the one about sex, is very much the divide with your person. Sometimes they struggle to talk about their emotions and what they'll do when they do that is they'll end up talking about sex instead and it leaves you guys feeling a little bit like what's actually happening here, what's going on? Because you want them to express their love for you, you want them to express their emotions for you and they end up just kind of talking to you more about sex. Now the reason for that is because your person buries these emotions deep, puts a mask on, doesn't really allow you into their heart when it comes to them talking about their emotions. But sex is what they consider the nearest thing to love. So, and it's easier for them to talk about. So they'll often talk to you about sex rather than love because it is just easier for them. It doesn't mean they don't love you. It doesn't mean that it's lust. It just means that it's the easier thing to communicate with you about. And that also makes you feel fed up because you start questioning, is this something that they want? Is it just insane chemistry? Is it an amazing connection? What's actually happening here? Um, and your person has got this balance of the energy. So they have got emotions for you. They do have feelings for you. Um, with the, the the dolphin on here, I'm kind of really being drawn to sea lions at the moment. But with the dolphin on here, spirit are saying, you know, this is a time um, that, you know, dolphins are very playful. They are one of the only animals on the planet that have sex for pleasure as well as humans. Um, so this is another reason why they can sometimes mistake this energy. OK, now the reason I mentioned sea lions is because there's this whole story about the selkie and um, I won't go into it. But what, what, if you want to Google it, go and have a Google of the story of selkie. Um, but with the, dol uh, the dolphins and the sea lions that spirit, spirit are bringing up, this is talking about sometimes they have to go back to who they originally are and they can wear this mask and they can dance this dance of, oh, everything's great, everything's perfect, but their inner soul is calling them and they will go and, you know, they're at this point that they have to reach out for this inner soul. And that's why these towers are hitting as well. It's like they've been calling against their soul. They've been pulling away from their soul and now these towers are hitting to draw them back towards you. Very strong emotions, very strong feelings, very strong sexual desire coming forward. They're also going to come towards you and actually open up to you about their emotions a little bit more. Um, 
potentially not in the way that you'd want them to in telling you loads and loads of information about how they feel but they are likely to say some stuff towards you that is along the lines of I do have feelings for you I do care for you I do have emotions for you this is them expressing their love um, and if it goes back to the sexual energy afterwards please don't panic because the love is still there you know it's very fine divide between the two with your person but they do have those strong feelings uh, with the seven pentacles nine of pentacles kind of coming up over here we have an expansion and a progress in the connection between you guys and um, your person to begin with was potentially feeling a, a bit of hard work why this talent here he wasn't or sorry they were never sexually orientated or gender specific but because tarot works with male and female often flies out of my mouth so they were finding the situation quite a bit of hard work. Those towers have now hit. And um, as that happens, we have this progression route happening over here. So with the Nine of Pentacles, this is them with their abundance. This is them knowing what they want. This is them working towards their goals. So their goals with you. So this feeling of you guys being fed up, again, is going to flip and switch the other way around. From that, we have Nine of Cups. OK, so this one talking about your dreams coming true, things moving into fulfillment, things moving into alignment for you. So there is a progression route here as well. Very strong progression route. Um, could take a little bit of time with temperance, could take a little bit of time. But as I said um, at the start, there is a lot of changes that are happening at this moment. So do try and keep balanced on it. Do try and stay stable with it all. Um, there is shifting, there is changing, changing happening in your connection and spirit just said changeling the same be the change okay so when it comes towards you embrace it enjoy it changeling they're calling you a changeling okay so very strong emotions for you uh perhaps they don't handle it in the best way but these towers are having to hit them so that they can realize what they want realize um I don't want to say realize your worth but realize how important you are in their life these towers have had to hit it's almost as if you guys have been feeling really, really at the end of your tether and you haven't known what to do about it. So when these towers have hit, it's gone a bit shit, it's gone a bit difficult, but it can be built back up in the way that you want it to. Uh, there's that old age saying again, spirit of bringing to my attention, um, that when we build a house on quicksand, it falls. When we build a house on stable foundations, it lasts for years and years and years. Um, with these towers hitting your house was kind of being constantly built on this quicksand of your person and it kept falling apart whereas now you're building that state you will be building that stable foundation back up with your person and this is what the nine of pentacles is indicating here it's a lot more stable it's a lot more secure and it's not going to feel like such hard work um it has been doing your doing your head in a little bit very balancing of these energies very kind of the two flip sides of it the sex and the emotions but the emotions are there for you they're just not very good at acting on it a lot of the time but they're shifting there is shifting so if you are in the middle of the tower do not fret do not panic this situation is going to come back around towards you do know that they love you very attracted to you as well really really desire you but do know that they love you um, and they care for you deeply, but this has got to kind of happen in a way so you guys can build that stable foundation on the solid ground rather than on the quicksand. And that is deck number two. So if you need me, just drop me a message. Um, all the details are in the comments as well as the deck times, which I probably should have said. I think I did say that at the start. Um, big shout out to World Animal Protection. Enjoy Imolk. Um, like I said at the start, there's a lot of details in that, little clippings of what you can do. I really enjoy the time, enjoy that new birth of life. Um, one of my favourite times of year. One of my favourite times of year, I love it. And the, the days are getting lighter and everyone gets a little bit perkier. You know, we're all a bit miserable at the moment. Um, and come in Mog, everything just starts to blossom and grow. And, you know, snowdrops, my favourite flower since I was a kid. You start to see them this time of year and it's absolutely beautiful. So a lot of pictures of Chalice Well in Glastonbury with the snowdrops outside of it at the moment. It just absolutely melted my heart. So have a really blessed Imolk. Uh, sending love from goddesses, from Brigantia to you guys. Look after yourselves. I will speak to you all really, really soon. Um, yeah, tons of love. Have a blessed day. Bye, guys.